Hey, what's up guys? Aaron coming at you from Bellevue, Tennessee today. We're doing a pond cleaning on this pond. There's an upper layer pond, long stream of about 30 feet into a larger uh, fish, fish pond down below here. Just wanted to check in with you guys and talk about something I'm getting a lot of questions about recently and go over some details with you, and that is evaporation rates. So one thing a lot of people are surprised to hear about is that when you run your pump, it creates little micro droplets of water that get in the air. And on a windy day, especially, or a dry day, those droplets get carried away. And we call that evaporation. So people are really surprised to see how quickly that can happen over the course of, let's say, a week. So let's go over some numbers really quickly. So let's use an average pump size of 4,000 gallons per hour. And that's how we measure the volume through the pump. Probably your average is about 4,000. So a 4,000 gallon per hour pump on an average day can lose any, anywhere between uh, 20 and 40 gallons of water through evaporation just from running the pump. Let's say there's no leaks anywhere in the system. You can plan to lose between 20 and 40 gallons of water a day just from running that pump. So what does that mean for you? It means that the holding tank or the capacity of the reservoir that the water sits in that holds the pump is critical, especially as we get into smaller water features, pondless water features, or especially fountains. So let's say you have a, uh, a 400 gallon tank and a 4,000 gallon per hour pump. So if it's losing 40 gallons of water per day in 10 days, that thing is completely bone dry. Now, if, you're, if your pump is even more, we see some in the eight to 10,000 gallon per hour range, that happens even faster. Or if your basin size is smaller, let's say 200 gallons, instead of it going 10 days between fill-ups, now you're down to five. So a couple things to keep in mind. One, keep those pumps topped off and don't just fill it up till the pump starts running again. Fill that basin all the way up. And then the other one is consider pump uh, basin size as you're installing your water feature. Bigger is always better. Um, and then the fourth one, when you do add city water to to your water feature to top it off, make sure you're putting in detoxifier into that as well. So a couple tips to keep in mind and uh, some stuff to cover as far as evaporation. Hope you guys are staying cool and hopefully the summer isn't too hard on you and we'll talk soon.